everyone, welcome to Kim Yin Yoga. I'm Kim, and today we have another in the series of Yin Yoga Weights. We're going to warm up on all fours. The focus today is upper body, and we're going to start, give yourself a nice toe squat, Pranam, flex it down and then up to all fours, tops of the feet down, and we're going to do a nice cat cow stretch, waking up the spine, deep breath in, and exhaling out into Halloween cat. I am tractioning my elbow creases towards each other. Deep breath in to stabilize the elbows. Exhaling it out. Deep breath in. Back to neutral. I'm scooching back to those toes and let's just do some nice hip rolls. This is a wonderful way to wake up the whole body. Especially if this is your first practice for the day. If you didn't do the morning yoga or your core workout yet. <laughs> All right, and a couple uh, little arm warm ups from Pranam. Lift your feet, come on forward, and elbows stay parallel to the body, tuck them tight into the body. Forehead to mat, deep breath in. Exhale it out, warming up those arms. And let's just do one more. Pranam, forehead to mat, deep breath in. And exhaling it out, elbows tight. And come on back to seated. <laughs> Gives us a little feeling of warming up. Now, the weights I'm using today are lighter than in a previous session. These are three kilos, so we're looking at 6.6 uh, .6 US pounds. They're light, and that's because I want to encourage you to start light and move yourself into building up over time. <laughs> Don't just crank the 10 kilo weights, even if you can. Uh, let's start out slow because we're mixing this with our yin yoga. All right, these are Arnie's, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's, uh, and we're coming up with a bicep curl. Rotate your hands out over the head, stretch up, and reverse. We'll do 10 of those. Now, if you need the support and you've got a wall, if you've got a workout bench, do them there so that your lower back is supported. Otherwise, you want a full core engagement to support your lower back. And that means Uddiyata Bandha, your navel to the spine, and also pressing in an isometric your abdominal wall outwards. So you've got a dual action, core activation. All right, let's just do three more. We're warming up these muscles, mixing Mars with Saturn, muscular action supplemented with slow yin stretching of the fascia. Okay. Uh, weights to the side, and from here we're going into what I call crisscross. And this, come on over to all fours, squinch yourself down. You're going to be crisscrossing your arms in front of you and laying on them. Uh, this is a very vulnerable position. Just moving my weight over. So <laughs> come into it as if uh, going down into Sphinx. Crisscross the arms, and 
I keep my palms up. I'm trying to feel the difference. Yeah. I kind of want to keep my palms up and forehead to the mat. From here, you're going to let go. This is probably, I kind of moved my braid. <laughs> there we go. It's probably not a position you hang out in. And you're going to notice right away, we're getting a beautiful stretch of the shoulders. Relax everything. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Check into your feet. Are your feet relaxed? Yeah, mine weren't. <laughs> relax your feet. Your heels are going to flop out to the sides if they're completely relaxed. Relax the buttocks, the thighs, the calves. Relax the belly. If at any point this becomes too much, ease back up and just lay flat on your belly with your hands to your sides. You don't hang in here longer than your edge allows. Let's have three more long, slow, deep breaths. And as I exhale out that third breath, I'm lifting the chin, bringing my hands together. It's a very vulnerable position. And I'm pushing up, all the way up, and back to Sukhasana. Hands up over the head, lace the fingers. How beautiful. I have to get my hands down here so I can pet you. Hello. Or oh, stretch. <laughs> And we're going back to the weights. You be careful now. Again, if you want to push back against the wall, I'll demonstrate that here. It can give you an added feeling of support. Or if you have a, a workout bench, you can step on up into that. So here we go as before, the Arnie's. So it's a, <laughs> it's a curl, shoulder lift, down and curl down and we do them slowly there's no rush try to keep the bells even as you lift them up <laughs> the notion here is that as we work the muscles and then in our rest times we're more inclined to melt into the yin posture, especially for you fire signs out there, the Aries and particularly Sagittarius, and maybe the Geminis, <laughs> that might get a little squirrely, feel a little mm, anxious about hanging out, especially opposed like that crisscross where we are so vulnerable. But if we go ahead and give those muscles some attention first, they're more willing to let go. It's kind of ironic. <laughs> That's not how it works. Okay, we'll just do a couple more. Uh, if you uh, push to failure, like if these were 10 kilo weights, I wouldn't be getting this many reps in. If you are using heavier weights or you uh, have uh, pushed to your capacity at this point in time, then you, of course, stop and just sit in Sukhasana till we're ready for the next move. Or you could go down into a beautiful child's pose. All right. Our next yin posture 
is a variation on a toe squat. So again, over into all fours. Curl those toes under, and so of course here is our, is our toe squat. While we're here, maybe spread the toes and try to get all, all even the pinky down. And I'm going to scoot forward because I didn't measure that out right. We are going to go back. If this is, if this is enough for you, just stay here. But the goal today, fingers pointed away from the bum, and it's a little mini bridge toe squat. I want you to find your zen here. Tucking the pelvis, so I'm pushing the sits bones up towards the sky, metaphorically metaphorically, because they're not going there, but metaphorically, up, I am focused on my elbow creases in creating a little micro bend there so I don't uh, wobble out, which I won't demonstrate, but my joints are just so gumpy, it's ridiculous, so I need to put some strength and attention into the elbow creases to get started. You may want to go ahead. My sister, oh, she loves getting the head way back, and that's awesome, and you might be just like her, and I uh, will keep my uh, chin more parallel. That's what works for me. If at any point you've had enough, turn on over into child's pose. We'll wait for the next session. <laughs> okay, from here we relax the toes, relax the fingers, let the bones hold you up. Three more deep breaths. And as I release that third breath, I'm going to let my sits bones come back towards the earth. <laughs> come on up and let's just plant the hands back, the knees up, and a beautiful extended child's pose. Forehead to mat. Deep breath in. If you were already in child's pose, meet us now as we come back up for our third and final set of our weights. And again, think about your engagement of the core, Uddiyata Bandha, pulling the navel to the uh, back of the spine while pushing the abdomen up into these imaginary fingers. <laughs> There's a lot going on, there's a lot to think about. We're not just throwing these weights around, we're doing them with conscious intention. Here we go. So in the press up. These arnies are great because they activate so much from biceps, triceps, to shoulders, deltoids. It's a wonderful upper body wake up. Seeing yourself as lifting these weights and if you want to imagine these weights being twice the kilos you're hefting so I'm just pretending I'm pushing 10 kilos up on each side because you know the studies they did. The test group who didn't lift any weights but imagined they lifted weights every day, did biceps curls, I think was the specific, uh, had more increase in muscle mass on their biceps than the people that actually lifted them. Just another little reminder of how powerful the mind is. One more set, one more breath, 
and bring it on down. Okay, weights to the side. And for our final in, again coming over this way into a squat. This might just be a froggy squat, is fine because what we're going to do is come up to Uttanasana forward fold, also known as dangling. Now we'll do a couple things here, mainly just relax it on down feel happy to have a bend in the knee only work your hamstrings to the degree that you want to right now but do realize that we've got this massive amount of fascia going on here that when we do put some attention into activating it you are releasing tremendous amounts of hyaluronic acid, which of course is our fountain of youth. So you can grab onto your elbows and just hang out. Lovely deep breaths, or you may prefer just to let your arms, backs of your hands rest, uh, tops, fronts of your hands palms of your hands rest on the mat. It's up to you. You're just going to hang here for a minute. And for our last few breaths, let's clasp the hands together and get a nice shoulder If you need to bend your knees a little for balance, I definitely do. Go ahead and do that. Three more long, slow, deep breaths. And as you exhale out that third breath, we'll go ahead and bring the hands back down. Put some weight in, in your hands so you can <laughs> get relief in those legs. Uh, duck feet, splay your feet out a little and let's just pop down into a squat. It's okay if you're in a froggy squat, however, whatever uh, suits you right now but let's go ahead and hips a little manchaktiya so I'm pushing my legs into my elbows my elbows are pushing out and deep breath in exhale exhale it out all righty <laughs> arms up over the head Anjali Mudra thumbs to the sternum that's it for today for our <laughs> yin yoga weights. Thank you for practicing with me. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it so much. Namaste.